Hey, this is the Mad Scientist Guy. And in today's video, I'm going to review this power pack that I got. This is a lithium ion version made by Talent Cell. And this is capable of doing a 9 to 12 volt output on one plug or a 5 volt USB output on the other. Now when you buy that, you get three things. You're going to get the power pack, you're going to get this cable, which acts as a splitter. And what this will allow you to do is plug in to the 12 volt output and have an additional male or female 12 volt output right here. It also comes with its uh, power supply. This is a, a small one that's about one amp. And then you can charge at the same time that you're using it by going like that. And then you have a male right here. The unit measures 5.5 inches this way, three and a quarter inches this way, and it's about one inch thick. A very small compact package. This is 66.6 .6 watt hours and, or six amp hours, and that's at the 12 volt rating. All right, let's put it on our scale and see how big this is. This weighs 13.6 ounces or 384 grams. Very lightweight, small and compact. It just fits in the palm of your hand. Okay, now let's turn it on. And when we turn it on, you're going to have uh, five LED bars right here indicating its uh, capacity that's left. Very, very simple. And this works, uh, if it's on, then it's on all the time. It doesn't sense the current and try and flip off and whatnot. So this is really handy if you just have something small that's going to be trickling or something big. Because with this simple design, there's just no guessing. It's either on or it isn't. Now let's take a look at um, some of the voltages because if you look at the reviews you're, and you look at the negative reviews, you're going to have some people that don't understand really what this is rated at. They say, well, this is not a 12 volt power supply. Well, this is a lithium ion version and it takes a maximum of 12.6 volts. And so what I do is that I label the power supply that this is the lithium ion version of 12.6 and I put little labels on here so that I understand and I like to put one near the plug-in so that if I have several of these and I just grab the end of this cord which is just your standard 5.5 by 2.1 then I want to know that I have the one that goes exactly for this charger. Now it makes a difference because Talent Cell makes other versions and I've already reviewed this one. This is my workhorse this is the lithium iron phosphate version, and this is the higher voltage than this one nominally. And what we mean by nominally is that on average. So uh, this one has four lithium iron phosphate cells in series and then in parallel, but this one only has three lithium ion, and so the average voltage is a bit lower. Now, is that a problem? Well, it depends on what you're using it for. When I bought this one, I wanted to specifically be able to power my ASI Air, which is a 12 volt uh, input. And so I was a little concerned when I got this one. I thought, well, is this going to work or is it not? So when I plugged in this one, just as a test, the uh, ASI Air works fine, but then it quickly showed me a uh, low voltage warning. But the ASR continued to run. Why? Because this one has a lower nominal output range, but the bottom line is that it will work with most 12 volt rated uh, devices. And so you might find one that it might have issue with, but so far it has run every 12 volt device that I have tried. And so I can run the telescope mount itself with this. I can run the ASI Air with this. And I can also uh, run USB devices such as, you know, like dew heaters and whatnot. So the next thing we want to talk about is the ratings. Well, what is it capable of? Well, it, it is capable of 3 amps out of the 12 volt output and is also capable of 2 amps out of the 5 volt output right here. And it is over current uh, protected, short circuit protected, and so it's very safe and reliable. So now it fully charged. Let's get out the old voltmeter here. We'll plug this in and it's already on so the positive is in the center 
and the negative is on the side. So 12.41, and this is the absolute maximum. You're going to get 12.6, but it'll drop off. And this will quickly go down below 12 volts. But as I said, that's generally not a problem. You just have to understand the battery chemistry behind it and so that you know what to expect. So if you look at the reviews and they say, oh, well, this thing went right down to 11.5, well, that's normal. Don't worry about it. And what you really need to do is pay attention to its actual capacity right here and then just answer the question, is your device running or not? So I have tried this and it works very well. One of the reasons why I bought it is that I wanted to travel with it and it's quite a bit smaller than my workhorse. You can see just the difference inside is pretty dramatic. But again, this is a very high voltage, uh, high capacity, I believe this is a 83 watt hours on the lithium iron phosphate and we're down to, I think I said 66, I have that written down. Yeah, 66.6 .6 watt hours. So it's smaller and so I'm planning a trip and this one's quite heavy and I'm running out of room and so I'm going to go ahead and travel with my little one and put this in my backpack on the plane and then if I need to charge my iPad or my iPhone on the plane, no problem. I can just plug it in and then I can take this and I'm going to actually be powering my Skywatcher uh, Star Adventure Star Tracker. And I've already done that with the USB input and it just works perfectly. So it works very well for the application that I'm using it for. And then when I get back home or if I go on to like a car, uh, trip or something like that then I'll take this one for the ASI air and the cameras and whatnot and then I'm going to plug in a dew heater into this one and so I have a nice compact solution whether I'm going to be driving by car or by plane now one final note here uh, the price is really incredibly reasonable I, I have I'll put a link in the product description below but I think I only paid about $38 and if you compare that to what you would pay for like these little uh, cell phone chargers or whatnot. Uh, you'll pay like $18 or something like that for these little cell phone chargers. And they have such a small capacity for just slightly more money and just a slightly bigger size. You can have, you know, orders of magnitude higher in actual capacity. So for me, I'm not gonna pack around those little ones anymore. I'm gonna just put this one in my backpack and take it with me as my go-to device for traveling. So I hope you found that helpful and if you would like to support this channel uh, please buy through my affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything more and it really helps me out a lot. So I will see you next time.